time to play Family Feud. Introducing the Alvarez family, ready for action. Playing against the Sims family, on your marks. Let's start the Family Feud. And now, here's your host, John O'Hurley! Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Hello there. Whoa. <laughs> My goodness, well, that's the end of our show, unfortunately. <laughs> that had to be canned laughter. Anyway, welcome to Family Feud, returning for their second time with $20,000, the Alvarez family. <laughs> nice to have you back again. Please introduce me to your family. Well, I'm Lourdes, and this is my sister Becky, and my niece Giselle, my brother-in-law, David, and my other great brother-in-law, Alex. Great to have you back again today. They're challenged by the Sims family. Hello, Yay! welcome. How are you? Thank you. How are you? How nice to have you here. Thank you. How are you? Introduce me to your family, please. I'm Roslyn. This is my wonderful husband, Wallington, my cousin, Leslie, my Aunt Anita, and my Aunt Linda. Aunt Linda. Nice to have you there. Good luck to you both. You're ready to play the feud. I need Rosalind, I need Lourdes, please join me. <laughs> All righty, you know the way the game is played. We surveyed 100 people. The top eight answers are on the board. Try to get the most popular answer. Name an animal that has a bigger bottom than yours. <laughs> All right, Rosalind. An elephant. An elephant. Show me an elephant. <laughs> We're off and running. Pass the play. All righty, you head on back, Lourdes, let's go. All right, Wallington, now you came, is this the family pet here? Yes, sir, uh, we'd just like to give this to you. Aren't uh, you guys? On behalf of the Sims family. <laughs> well, that is, if you don't mind, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna hold that, have you hold that for me? That's yes, going sir. to my little six-month-old son. That's oh. very nice, thank you very much. All right. Speaking of nothing apropos of that, an animal that has a bigger bottom than yours, Wallington. I'm gonna say a hippopotamus. A hippopotamus? <laughs> Show me a hippopotamus. Yeah, right on down the line. Hello, Leslie. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. How are you? Hello, I'm wonderful. All right, my darling, an animal that has a bigger bottom than yours. Now, you don't have to take that to heart. Oh, I won't. A rhinoceros. A rhinoceros. <laughs> How about a rhinoceros? Yeah. That's up there, too. Right on down the line, Anita. How are you? I'm wonderful. An animal that has a bigger bottom than you. I'm gonna say a uh, baboon. A baboon? Good, a baboon. Yeah. 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 Show me a baboon. Yeah. It's up and there. Yeah. Under the category of a for gorilla. Linda, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, An Thank animal you. that might have a bigger bottom than you. Well, I'm gonna go with a whale. A yeah. whale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got yourself a whale butt, is what you got there. <laughs> Show me a whale. No, 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 no. No, there's still hanging on to that mammal thing, I guess. All right. You got one strike, three strikes means I go visit the Alvarez family okay. who wants to steal all your points. All right. That's why they're here. An animal that has a bigger bottom than yours, Rosalind. A cow. A cow? Yeah. Good answer, Rosalind. Good answer. Cow. All right. Show me a cow. That's up there. Keep the winning ways going, Wallington, please. An animal with a bigger bottom. I'm gonna to have to say a bear. A bear? <laughs> Show me a bear. Look at that. <laughs> You're whittling them down one at a time on your way to clearing the board. Leslie, an animal with a bigger bottom. I'm gonna to have to say a horse. A horse. <laughs> Show me a horse. That's up there as well. All right. Anita, one answer away from clearing off the board on your first try. An animal with a bigger bottom than yours, you only have one strike. You get How a free swing. A pig. Good a answer. pig. Oh. Does pig clear the board? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Wow. We're off to a tremendous start right now. We got another face off. Wallington and Becky, please join me. Very good, very good. Rarely does a team clear. Eight, eight. All right, on our way to 300 points. 
First team to 300 points gets a shot at fast money and $20,000. Here we go. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. What type of movie best describes your love life? Becky? Romantic comedy. Romantic comedy. A romantic comedy <laughs> is there. All right. Pass or play? Play. We're going to play. Wallington, head on back. All right, Giselle. Hello. Nice to have you back again and again and again. And again and again, actually. Third time. <laughs> All right. What type of movie best describes your love life? A drama. A drama. <laughs> My <laughs> life is a drama. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Come on, David. You're pretty easy going. What type of movie best describes your love life? Exciting. <laughs> and said with all the joie de vivre that I think it entitles to, too. All right. Exciting. All right. What type of movie best describes your love life, Alex? Oh, action. Action. Yeah! Action. Yeah! Show me action. Yes, all right, suspense thriller. That's what they're saying. Notice. My oh, darling. Me again. My darling, what type of movie best describes your love life? How about an R rated? R rated? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I would hope so. R rated? No, no, all right. Two strikes. You want to stay alive, Becky? You gotta give me the type of movie that best describes your love life. How about a mystery movie? A mystery. <laughs> love a woman with mystery. Show me mystery. No! Three strikes coming over here. To the Sims family. All right. All right. All good answers. You gotta choose one. The type of movie that best describes your love life to steal all the points. A science fiction. Science fiction. <laughs> Good answer, good answer. <laughs> uh, she's sleeping with the aliens, a science fiction. Yeah! Got it! Let's take a look at the remaining answers up there right now. We got three of them. Number two. What movie best describes your love life? Love life or romance, of course. Number five. X-rated. Yeah, you just didn't go how far enough for that. And number seven. A horror. All righty, there you have it. Sims family sharply in the lead, 155. The Alvarez family yet to score, but we're on our way to 300, so don't go away. We're coming right back. to Family Feud. Thank you for joining us. The Sims family sharply in the lead, as I said, 155 points. The Alvarez family are returning champs. Still yet to score another face-off coming up right now with Leslie and Giselle. All right. Point totals are moving along. The point values have doubled. The top five answers are on the board. Try to get the most popular answer. Give me an expression that contains the word foot. Leslie? Foot massage. Foot massage. <laughs> it's there. It's not the number one answer. It's all going to be better. I put my foot in my mouth. Foot in my mouth. Foot in mouth. That's number two. You control. Pass or play? We're going to play. play. All right, Leslie, head on back. Hoof and mouth. Old hoof and mouth. Got your control to the question. David, continue. An expression that contains the word foot. Uh, heavy foot. Heavy foot. Ah, <laughs> uh, and all the encouragement from your family as well. Heavy foot. Show me that. No, not there. Not there. All right. That's all right. Alex. Foot and behind. Foot and behind. <laughs> Foot and behind. Foot and behind. <laughs> no, I can't imagine. It. That must be as in, I'll put my foot in your behind. Lourdes? Um, aching foot. Aching foot. 
Aching foot. All right, you got two strikes. You got to get this one right, or I'm going to The Sims, an expression that contains the word foot. Aching foot. No, no. All right. Sims family's excited. All right, Rosalind. Yes. An expression that contains the word foot. Football. Football. Number one. You got it. Okay. Let's look at our remaining answers right now. Expressions that contain the word foot. Number three. Foot long. All right. And number four. Foot loose. Of course. All right. That gives the Sims family a commanding lead with 211 points. Alvarez family are returning champs still yet to score. Still anybody's game, though. And we're coming right back, so don't go away. Closed captioning is sponsored in part by... Well, the finger of face is leaning towards the Sims family now, sharply in the lead with 211 points. Returning champs, the Alvarez family yet to score. It's still anybody's game. The big face-off coming up now. Between Anita and David, please join me. Yes, sirree. Still anybody's game. Point values are now tripled. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers on the board. Good luck. Name something that wanders. David, you're first. Children. Children. Children wonder. It's up there. It's not number one, Anita. Your mind. Mind. Show me mind wandering. Number one. Pass the play. I'm going to play. All right, David, head back. That's a very good answer. That was a good answer. Linda, keep it going. Name something that wanders. A cat. A cat. A cat. And there's Wanda, one answer. One answer remains, Rosalind, up there on the board. You still don't have any strikes. You get oh. some free swings here. Okay. Name something that wanders. Your husband. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> yeah, first one. <laughs> and wouldn't you know the first one to say good answer? That's the same as people, the judges are saying. Okay, we're gonna need another answer from you. Your work. Your work. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Your work wanders. No. All right. Okay. All right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Now you're off the hook on the husband thing there, Wallington. That's the good news. Something that wanders. Remember, you only have one strike. You got two left. I'm going to have to go with money. Money. That's good. Money. Money, money wanders. Show me money. No. All right, here we go. Now, Leslie, it all comes down to you. It comes down to You've me. You've got one answer left. If not, we yes. go over there to the Alvarez family. If they get it right, we go to sudden death. You don't want that to happen. No. You work too hard, so name yes. something that wanders. I'm going to have to say your eyes wander. Oh. <laughs> Wandering eyes to win the game. Yes. Two people, fast money, come on. One over here, one over here, there you go. All right, we're coming back. Right after this, we'll play fast money. Well, welcome back to Family Feud. The Sims family just swept through that game. And it's time now. For their first shot at Fast Money and a shot at $20,000, Sergeant Major. Yes. Sergeant Major. Well, yes. Sergeant Major. Now, that's... If I understand it correctly, that's the highest rank you can... As an enlisted man, that's as high as you can go. Fast Money, this is the way it works. Rosalind's backstage. She can't see or hear your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions. you got 20 seconds. You can try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something to say, you just say pass. We'll come back to it if we have enough time. And if you and Rosalind together get 200 points, what do you win? $20,000! $20,000. Right on the money. All right. 
I need 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock starts after I read this first question. Good luck. We asked 100 men, tell me the number of girls you've dated at any one time. Three. Name something babies do that's not so cute. Throw up. Name something that might get broken in a bar fight. Uh, beer bottles. Name an invention that has brought people closer together. Cars. Name a part of your body that aches after sitting for a long time. My back. All answers all in there in time. Go. Okay. Warrington, let's take a look on the board here, see how you did. We asked 100 men, tell me the number of girls you've dated at any one time. You said? Three. Survey said. All right. Very good start. A lot of men agreed with you. Name something babies do that's not so cute. You said? They throw up. They sure do. Survey said. Yes. Very good. Name something that might get broken during a bar fight. You've never been in one of those, have you? Of course not. So this is theoretical. A beer bottle. Survey said. All right. Very good. Name an invention that has brought people closer together. That's what we asked you. You said cars. Survey said. No. All right. Still good answer. A point shy of the century mark. That's halfway there. And finally, name a part of your body that aches after sitting for a long time. You said. You're back. Survey said. There you go. Very good. Clear the board. Come on out here. Come on out home, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> You're like a live action yes, figure yes, out there, yes. Rosalind. All right. Here's the way it works. Okay. Good news for you. Wallington got you 142 no, points. No, he did Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All you need now is 58 points. It's 58 points to reach 200 points and $20,000. Yes. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Don't duplicate any of the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. And then I'm going to say try again, and you're going to give me another answer. Okay. You're going to get 25 seconds. Reminding everybody right now of Wallington's answers up there. They are? Okay. 25 seconds on the clock. Time starts after I read the first question. Here we go. We asked 100 men, tell me the number of girls you've dated at any one time. Four. Name something babies do that's not so cute. Boo-boo. Name something that might get broken during a bar fight. Glasses. Name an invention that has brought people closer together. Pass. Name a part of your body that aches after sitting for a long time. The bottom. Name an invention that has brought people closer together. The lights. <laughs> Come over here and hug me. <laughs> now you only know you don't. Okay. We don't know yet. Okay. We don't know how right. you did. Let's start. We asked 100 men, tell me the number of girls that you've dated at any one time. You said four. <laughs> Survey said. No. Oh, okay. Number one answer was two. Two. Yeah. Name something babies do that's not so cute. You said. Boo boo. <laughs> you gotta use the bathroom. Boo boo. That's uh, that's the word for boo boo. Oh, I got it. I have a six month old. Okay. I'll start blowing that one by. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Little William, time to boo boo. <laughs> All right. Survey said. Twenty. <laughs> Apparently, boo-boo is the popular <laughs> vernacular for a bathroom that I wasn't aware of. All right. The uh, number one answer there, by the way, was spit or vomit. That's okay, he said. on the other right. side. You got that. Name something that might get broken during a bar fight. Oh, remember those heady days uh -huh. when we were in the bar fights together? <laughs> All right. You said glasses. Now, you only need 31 points. Survey said. Yeah, I got it! <laughs> well, we never even had to get to number four. Glasses was the number one answer. The invention that brought people closer together was not the lights, it's the telephone. Part of the body that aches after sitting for a long time, that would be the bottom. Well, they're coming back after a $20,000 victory on our next show, and we hope you'll be there with us. I'm John O'Hurley saying so long for now.